Hello everybody, good day, welcome to my tutorial and um, today I will be building a, a website with a blogging page from scratch so that's from A to Z okay and uh, of course I will be using the Breezy Pro Builder uh, so we will be able to make our own or design our own um, blogging um, templates okay so right now uh, I have created a, a demo website and what I did first is that I already uploaded the photos that I need to design the the, the pages okay so um, to those who do not know you just have to drag your photos to this um, section here otherwise you can click the button add new and then select the file that you want to to add let's say for example this one like that or let's add another one could be this that's it okay so that's how you're going to add photos next is um i already installed the builder so i have the breezy free and the breezy pro so that's basically what you need to to install for you to be able to design your own um, website um, and then the rest uh, plugins you can you can do that later so for now let's just focus on using the breezy pro and what is next is um, uh, I have already Let's check the post. Okay, I have already um, published three, you know, made up articles and I placed them in different categories. So uh, the, fir the, the first two, uh, they're in the food category and the, um, the third one is in the uh, wine category. But I want to add another article. So in order to add an article, this is what you need to do. Add new. Let's um, like title. Let's just try to use this one. I got the text from uh, the Lorem Ipsum generator for the sake of the tutorial, and then let's put this in the uh, wine category and featured image. Let's go to the media library. And use the one that we have already uploaded. Mm -hmm. I think this one I haven't used this. No, to be safe, you know what? Let me just add another one. Oh, let's say two. This two. Okay. And hit publish. So obviously, as you can see, we have four articles or four posts, okay? Now, next, what we need to do is to add pages. So we have to add first the home page. Let's just type home. Then next, let's add blog blog page okay i want something simple because this is just you know for the sake of showing you how to to build a website with a blogging page okay and then uh, next is let us go to the menus set our menus so as you can see if you want to create a new menu you just have to click create so here we are What's oh, loading? One second. Woohoo! 
Well, well, well. Okay. I'm struggling with my internet since yesterday. <laughs> okay, let's type like top menu or you can whatever you want to name this. Okay, I'll just type you know what main menu. Oop, oops. <laughs> I don't know how to type. Okay, create menu. And then the pages that I want to um, to add are select all. I just have two pages. Add to menu. Wow. So be patient with me, guys. Um, I have some issues with the internet and I do not know why. It was since yesterday I did the live stream yesterday and it was always cutting off. Let me just refresh this. There you go. Oops, it was gone. What happened? Okay, so let's put this on top. And I think that's it. Okay. So there's no really need to display it like a specific um, location because you just have this menu. We're just going to use that. And then what's next is let's go to settings. Um, check the, the reading. Okay, there you go. Set this to static page and your home page. Obviously your home and your post page, page is the blog. Okay. And then for the permalinks, you can do that later. So I think that's it. Oh, one thing. Here are the themes. The themes, um, because this is the 2021 um, WordPress um, plugin, but I prefer to use the Neve theme. I just like using the Neve theme, and it is actually the... Uh, the theme that, um, that complements well with the uh, Breezy. It's Breezy's partner. <laughs> okay. And, okay. I think that's, that's it. Uh, let's go to all pages. Right. And then let's design, build our homepage with Breezy Builder. Okay. So what I want to build today is um, a, a restaurant website. So it's really from scratch. I'm not going to use um, pre-made blocks or layouts. Let's just try to do it from zero. Okay. Uh, what I will be doing now is to to add um, text and then add another text. Ooh. Sorry about that. Add another text and then add a photo because the photo will be the logo that I want to. Okay, here, here's our restaurant logo. Okay. Red, because it's going to be a dark mode kind of, you know, website. The trend for 2021 is dark mode. If you read my um, post, I have there, sorry, I have there um, some list, the top list of the, um, the, the, um, the design, the trend that's going to be in, the, in this coming new year. Okay, so for the, this is going to be the name of the restaurant. Let's say, ah, restaurant, Italian restaurant, Italian restaurant. Okay, and then we're going to change the, the text to maybe this. And the size could be, let's make it 50. Okay, remember that it this is going to be um, quick and 
simple. And I suggest that if you uh, design your website or your client's website, I suggest that you should design it like simple, simple and the uh, simple, but with the, uh, how do you say that with elegance? Cause I mean, you know, sometimes there are designs that are just not, I mean, there are photos, texts that are just, they're not organized and it has to be consistent. Now it has to be, um, let me first find a background picture. Mm -hmm. Let me try. Okay, this one. Okay, so I was just saying that it has to be simple and with a class, I would say. <laughs> so your so the view visitors will, you know, um remain on your site for for a a long duration of time otherwise you know if the color is like it's not or, or things are not organized there it's like really it's painful to the eyes is not you isn't you're not comfortable you know looking at things that are like they're not would you would you view uh, your website topsy turvy? <laughs> I mean, not in a really simplicity is beauty. There's this this motto, right? If you agree with me, give me. Um, let me just change this, or leave me a comment below. What do you think? <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Mm, let's make it a bit darker. Okay, next, let's go for, maybe we can put, um, um, columns. Okay, maybe three columns. Oh, let's add, yes, three columns. And then photos. And then text. Oops. Text, okay. So the text, um, we are going to change the, the font and we should write maybe um, thinking our specialties, our specialties and change the size to 35, let's see, okay, and then well, you can write something like short description. Let's try to add a short description with our Lauren Ipsen text. And I'll use the, well, just, just use this railway or Josephine. Yeah, I think this is better. And 20. Oops. Oh, let's make it 18. There you go. And then let's add the photo. So specialties, what do you have in your restaurant? I would probably add this. Okay. Next, I'm just going to duplicate this and then duplicate it another. Okay, and then change the photo. Oh, there this one. And then this one. Okay. And I can duplicate it and put it below and change this one let me check okay is this even okay all right mm, gonna have some chocolate because my restaurant 
prepares uh, chocolate cakes too. <laughs> and yeah, this one. Okay. Or you know what? Um, I can maybe change this or put this in the, because it's, you know, like, they're both orange. <laughs> okay, did I just, did I already put, um, uh, maybe this? Of course, pizza is very important because it's an Italian restaurant. How could you ever miss pizza? Okay, our specialties. Mm -hmm. Next is, let's try to add, um, let me think, because this is going to be really simple and quick. Let's try to add, um, yeah, something about our chefs. Yeah, chefs are very important. Okay, let me add a photo here. Um, and text. Okay. But you know what? You can actually duplicate this and then just drag it here. And you can... Same thing. What did I think about that first? Thought about that. <laughs> okay, there. And um, uh, our chefs. Okay. Then, then we're going to make up names and then duplicate this. Oh, one second. Not yet. I have to stretch it, I have to stretch this so you guys can see that he is cooking. Otherwise, if it's just half, he looks like a barber. Okay, so guys, let me know um, how you're going to spend your Christmas holiday. So what are you going to prepare? Leave some, you know, some comments below. And then this, this gentleman chopping some tomatoes. And this... This guy here? Oh, this. Now, what I am going to do is to change the... Um, I'm thinking of... I'm looking for some pictures here. Of, you know what? I'm just going to... Change the color of the background. And this one should be white. And this one could be this and um, I want to hmm I want to um, add one second I just want to add another block there okay and then increase the padding. Then we can um, but you know what? Let me try to put this on top there. And then this. So that these gentlemen here I can put them right not. Let me try to play around with this. No, not like that. Hmm. One second.
Okay. This one, change the margin to negative 100. And this one, um, 102. Okay, perfect. One more. Okay, I think that's fine. Yeah, that is fine. Mm hmm. So what I need is to change the text. And this one, let's change the overlay to, oh, it was, it was fine. But why did I change that? Because I'm a bit fickle minded. <laughs> All right. And then let's add names. Okay, so um, this is going to be Chef, Chef um, Alessandro, Sandro. Let's just name him as Chef Alessandro. Okay, you can like 20, okay. And um, you can also add a short description about him, like maybe, um, let me just copy the, this text, just, you know, something about him, whatever. <laughs> and next is, um, chef, um, chef Giovanni. Oops, sorry. Giovanni. Okay. And duplicate that. And he's going to be chef. Carlo. Okay. That's it. Okay, so you can design however you want it, however you want to present your website to your visitors or clients. All right, next is let's let's just save this first. You know, just to to be safe. <laughs> And I am going to get um, uh, the contact, a pre-made pre contact pay block. So um, let me choose something simple, this one. Okay, change the text to the font, then this, it's okay without that. You can get rid of that. And the address, one second, let me just change the text font. Okay, the address, let's make it up like 51 via. In Italy, usually it's like via. Okay, via, via is a street or road, via 51 Roma or via um, San Carlo, oops, sorry, and Roma, Italy, or Rome, Italy. Okay, then email address. Let's change this. Okay, that's it. And of course, we're going to change the address. And because I made up the address, so let's just put Rome, Italy. <laughs> but if you have the specific address, you just type the specific address there and you can like change the... Like you want it to view this way, zoom in, zoom out, so you can adjust. And then filter, so there you can do whatever you want, okay? Next is 
Let me. Okay, I think that's fine. Um, what we're gonna do now is add a header and a footer. So we're gonna use this footer, pre-made footer. Obviously, it's going to be black, and then use the main menu, right? We 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 wrote main menu. Yeah, there you go. Change the color to white, and when you hover it, it should be like red. Hey, that's pink. Okay, and change the text to this. Okay, and you can add a logo there, and here you can link your social media here. Okay, just add it there, link, and save it. Now we're going to add a header. Header, something simple. Okay, let's drag this to the top. There you go. And of course, change the logo first. I also have a white color of this logo, but let me just use this height. Okay, and adjust the size as per your reference. Okay, then of course, I want this black. And main menu. Okay, you can also that change the orientation to vertical <laughs> and white over whoops i have a message one second mm, change this to like this all right that's it okay You can even like adjust. That's fine. Okay. I want it that way. <laughs> and this one too. I almost forgot because this is a sticky header. Is there even the right term? Why do they call it sticky header? <laughs> if anybody has the uh, rationale, please share it with me. We are all learning here. Okay, I change the color to. Well, one second, let me just change the background first, okay? And this should be white. Hover. Um, red, then that's it. You can also like change the, the color to that, um, page where it is active, where you are browsing it. Okay. I don't want to change it. Just stick it to something like that. Simple. And you can do whatever you want. Like I said. Okay, voila, that's it. That is our homepage. Okay, now let us go to the dashboard and begin um, creating our uh, blog page template. The next thing that we need to do is go to Breezy Templates. And let's design our template. Okay, let's just uh, write listing and then archive. Now for the categories, include blog and add. And don't forget to publish. And then edit it with Breezy. Okay. 
let's add an empty block, um, add a text. I'm going to change this to 50 and welcome, oops, welcome to my blog page. Then change the background, add an image. This one is fine. Change the color to white. Oh, one second, let's just increase the petty. Oh, this is too much. Adjust the photo something like this and then let's add the head footer um, color then main menu change the um, color and hover to red. Okay, that's it. And then link the social media links. Then we already save that and add the archive from WordPress. I just want to delete that, change the color, um, text this color, then the background, lighter red something, okay, and let's add two rows and the spacing, let's make it like 20, 25, oh, why did I put dot, <laughs> and then update. Okay, let's go and check it. Okay, there you go. So you remember we have four, four articles. So as you can see, you read more. That actually depends on, on your theme. So you can go to this section here, customize, and you can change the, the color. So that's how you're going to to make your like to show the the list of your posts in in your blog page. Now, um, what we need to do is to leave this page and add a template for every article. Okay, for your single post. So let's just write single post. Oh. My goodness. <laughs> single post, single. It's fine. Include pages. So I want it for my blog only. Oh, one second. No. Um, one second, I made a mistake. I was thinking the the second way of adding, you know. <laughs> Here we go, single post, and that's all. I was a bit absent-minded. I was thinking of my child who is sleeping, so I did it with Breezy. <laughs> Okay, so for every post, I want it to look like this. Hmm, maybe, well, uh, perhaps could be this or that one. And let's add text. Oops, sorry. Let's add 
text. Okay. And one second, let me just change the. Oops. The photo looks horrible. So I want to change that. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's look for another photo. What do I have here? Uh huh. Could be this. Could be this. Okay, select that and let us change the. Okay, let's make it a bit. This one a bit darker. Okay, now the text is if you want, let's change the color first. And uh, so if you want that um, every time your visitor uh, clicks or views your post, you want the title to appear automatically, you just have to type hashtag and then One second, what happened? There you go. It didn't match. What happened there? There it appears now. It's showing up. So post title. And I want it could be 35. Okay. <laughs> 35. I was like asking question. <laughs> Make it 190. All right. And then let's add a footer. The same as usual. Okay. Color. Hover. And then the text. All right. Now let's add an empty block. For the um, for the the content of your article, okay. Here, post content. Oh, this is what I think I want to do. So you can actually put a side by side bar <laughs> side bar here. But you have to set that. Um, oh, that's a friend who lives in France. Um, <laughs> you have to set that uh, before you work on here, or you can just move. But anyway, I'll just you know just leave it as it is, like an empty space there. Or you know what? Let's just do it like this. Let's make it simpler. Um, I'll add the um, the post info so and then we could also add on top there the breadcrumbs and then the post content all right then you can adjust okay as to your preference and for the this um, content info you can delete the comment and the time or you can just leave things as it is and you can put it on the side or center it and this one you can change the color like maybe like that and the arrows could be you no know, red. Okay, so something like that. All right. And that should work fine. Simple. So, but if you want to add a sidebar here, obviously you're going to add like two columns and then adjust. Okay, and then add the sidebar. Here's the sidebar you can just add it here okay 
Anyway, so that's it. Now let us check the website. Let's see and check it out. Okay, so this is now our website, the home page. Then let's go to the blog page. Okay, you can change the color if you go to the customize section. And then if you want to read, let me just read this. Oh, there you go. Okay, so that's it, everybody. That's how easy it is to build a blog page with Breezy Pro. So if this video helps you, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions or ideas or something that you want me to, to build, and uh, create a video let me know and we will and i will do that for you okay thank you very much for watching have a nice day ciao